What's going on you guys? Today we're going to be doing a little science experiment out on the course. We're going to be checking a look at these destroyers here. I've got a lightweight old Flippy Boy destroyer. You guys have seen this one. This is the one I threw 400 feet in my daily distance series. So we're going to be trying to get a newer destroyer to fly like my beat up destroyer so that I can eventually replace this Flippy one with this one. So we're gonna be putting this thing through a couple of little tests and see how we can get this thing beat up. So the first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna put it in the dryer and uh, just the normal cycle I would normally, you know, run my dryer on. We're gonna run that for about 10 minutes and you guys will see me, I'm gonna take it and bend it downwards like this. And apparently that's supposed to make the disc a little flippier. So we're gonna do that. But real quick, here's a little video of me throwing this thing and uh, we'll show you guys a baseline how it throws. Okay, so we pulled the disc out of the dryer. We've given it some bends downwards. And then after that, you're gonna wanna let it sit on a flat surface until it cools off and it'll regain, it'll go back to its normal shape. So this disc feels just like it did before I threw it. It's brand new still. And let's hope it's a little flippier. I don't know if, that, if, if we even did anything yet. So let's go take it out to the course and see. All right, guys, we're out here at the course. I got my lightweight beat up Star Destroyer. We're going to be comparing it against this brand new Star Destroyer that I ran through the dryer. We're going to be throwing them out there, seeing how this thing is, uh, seeing if this thing got any flippier. So let's throw my uh, beat up Destroyer first. Now this thing isn't super flippy, by the way. It's not like crazy. Uh, that's why I'm trying to get this worked in while I can before it gets too flippy. So we got a little tail in here too. Little tailwind, woo! Right behind that basket down there. It um flipped up a tiny bit, but just really kind of stayed on that hyzer the whole way with this uh with this tailwind. So let's see how this does. I'm gonna try to throw it the same way. It's pretty similar. The wind's kind of playing with it, but wow, really similar shot. It's kind of windy out here today, though. So we'll say the lightweight destroyer did go a little bit further. But uh, could be a number of things. We will do some further testing. Okay, we're gonna try to throw these out there on some Anheuser. Not the best at the Anheuser throw, you guys know. Bars. But we're gonna throw it out there anyways. And we got a little bit of tailwind, so hopefully we'll stable us out. Did not give that any Anheuser. <sighs> See, Anheuser for me is kind of just flat. I really have to really try to get over on it to throw Anheuser. But you guys have seen that one, that one fly a billion times. We're gonna try to throw this one correctly on some Anheuser and uh, see how it fights out. It's a little better. Ooh. Yeah, that thing is still pretty overstable. Went good distance and I barely threw, like, I mean, I, it was like a foot off the ground the whole way, but still had a good distance to it. Yeah, that thing is still pretty overstable. So I don't think one cycle in the dryer was enough. We might have to go for round two. All right, we're gonna throw them back this way this time. We're gonna throw them on a, into a little bit of a headwind. This is where I kind of stopped trusting this purple destroyer because it's a little lightweight. I want something more, more overstable. So I think this will kind of fill that slot perfectly right now because it's a little bit more stable than this one still obviously it's it's pretty brand new still all i did was do one cycle through the dryer so we're gonna have to do some further further beating up for sure of this boy but i like where it's headed i really like where the flight of this is headed it's still still got some beef to it but not quite as beefy i think i still think it's definitely gotten a little bit beat up in that first cycle we're gonna throw it out there on some headwind this time see how they hold up flippy boy first Ooh, might have given that one a lot of, a little bit extra hyzer than I needed to, but flipped up pretty nice. And uh, yeah, we're gonna throw this one a little bit flatter. Hopefully I don't have to give it so much hyzer and it should, should work out pretty good. Yeah, look at that, nice and stable, even into some headwind, even flat, it was more stable than that purple one. That, uh, that dryer didn't do too much to it, I will say. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if I should do a part two because 
I don't feel like I changed the disc's flight that much with uh, just one cycle in the dryer and bending it a few times. Maybe I need to bend it a little bit more. Maybe I need to let it go in the dryer for a little bit longer and hit the dryer walls and whatnot. I don't know. You guys let me know down below what your experience is. Maybe we'll come back and revisit this. Or maybe we'll just throw it against some trees and see how that does. So let me know what you guys want to see. See you next time. Peace.